Okay, uh, so tell me a little bit about this shipping container you got out here. Yes, I have a shipping container placed right here, right next to my building. That's going to be my fruiting room. What What is this building over here? Right now, it's got my fruiting room in there, and it's got my lab and inoculation in my incubation space, so it's really cramped for space. So. You're growing mushrooms? Yes. Okay. Growing mushrooms, gourmet oyster mushrooms. So that's going to get turned into a whole fruiting room in there. And uh, so this is going to be my lab, my incubation, my walk-in cooler is going to be in here, my bagger is going to be in here, and my sterilizer. So... So, so what are so what have you been working on today? Because it, it, I mean, you've got your shipping container out here, but there's nothing inside of your shipping container at the moment. So, what have you been doing? Yep. So the utilities, I was able to run a water line right in front of uh, my shipping container right here, and uh, that's going to be my water line. And what do you uh, use water for in your mushroom growing? We use it for the bagger, uh, the bagger that's going to be inside here, and. Uh, and the, you know, the hydrate in your oats and stuff like that. Which is what mushrooms are grown in, right? Yes, the okay. spawn and everything. Gotcha. So today, so tell me a little bit about what you accomplished today in terms of um, inside of the shipping container. Because yeah, so I know like the power ran from the service pole right there. Mm -hmm. Brought that up underneath the shipping container. And, uh, so there's a, you just drilled a hole? Yeah, I just drilled a hole right here going through my shipping container and just ride it right up into my breaker box so I can control the circuits from inside here. Okay, yeah. And, um, and this this um, this uh, service pole, uh, tell me how you got, the, I mean, you did all this on your own, right? Yes. Okay, so, so what did you do to get that done? I um, installed the pole, installed the 100 amp service box. You had to dig a, uh, how how deep is it? That's yeah. a four foot hole right there. I had to install a 20 foot hole in, so leaving 16 foot out. And um, it's a 100 amp service box, so that's how much I needed for what I was doing. And um, yeah, it's a 100 amp breaker going off of this. You know, just to allow for plenty of amperage inside of here as much as they've given me. Um, in terms of what you're gonna be running inside of the shipping container, like, what are all the all the things that are going to require power in terms of mushroom production? Because there may be people out there that don't know like how a mushroom is produced, you know. Yeah, so your uh, main amperage draw is going to be from your heater, you know, your oil radiator heaters. Those draw about 12 amps. And then also your boiler. So if you have a boiler inside of your operation and you're using 240 volt elements, those usually draw 23 amps per element. So I'm planning on in the future, maybe adding on another element to allow for more steam or sterilization and everything. So that'll be the draw there. And, um, you know, the air conditioner and the pancake compressor, all of it just kind of adds up. So yeah, just got to kind of figure it in there. All right. So in terms of production, how many mushrooms can you produce inside of the shipping container? Oh God, you could produce a whole bunch. <laughs> Which is the goal, right? Like, yeah, that's the yeah. goal. Yeah, so they'll be uh, growing inside here, incubation. And uh, you can look at what the fungus and um, his setup. He has an incubation room right next to his lab. And that's pretty much the same thing that I'm going for with the wood shelving, with the fungus. Give him a look. And um, But today, you're going you're gonna to teach us a little bit about, I guess, electrical. Because that's what you've accomplished today in terms of your mushroom production side yep. so so at the first of it all you want to have a breaker box installed in your building and that will be what the main feed is running into and then off of that you're going to run what they call circuits so a circuit is a series of outlets connected on to a wire so you'll run your wire all the way down and then you'll have you know, three outlets going on to that. So you bring your wire through the outlet box and then connect them there with the outlet and it will still feed onto the rest of the outlets there. So, you know, it differs from each circuit. So this circuit, I was able to put on three outlets, but this circuit right here, I was only able to put on one outlet. So this just got one outlet on the circuit because I'm gonna be drawing more amps from my walk-in cooler 
Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit about like what each of these outlets are for. Because, you know, why do you need, what is it, eight outlets inside of the shipping container? Yeah. Yep. So this outlet, this first one, is going to be for the uh, window AC unit. I'm going to modify it to be my walk-in cooler with a cool box device. So that'll be for right there. And then on down here, I haven't ran it yet, but I'm going to run an 8-3 eight, eight wire that is going to um, be feeding my 240-volt outlet for my 240-volt heating elements for my boiler mm -hmm. so I can uh, pasteurize it. Substrate. All right. It is getting a little dark in here. Like, how, how are you planning on running the lights and stuff? Like, where will you put those? Yeah, so I found a, um, a lighting kit. I think it's like six lights on Amazon for $44. And they just literally plug into each light, and it gives it, I think, 32 uh, foot of length off that $44 of lights. So I'll just have a circuit, and it'll cut through all the way here so I mean think about that $44 for all of your lighting through here that's yeah good. so and then, uh, down here I'll have my last outlet on the end here is going to be my flow hood fan and then right there is just going to be for the heater the oil yeah. radiator heater and uh, over here is another outlet for a uh, Maybe a heater or so, and uh, this is a uh, in particular. This is going to be for my bagger. This is going to be uh, have a uh, pancake compressor plugged up to it for my pneumatic bagger. Um, yeah, so it's, it's going to be for that. And then this one here is just a extra one in case you need it. Yeah, it's just for like tools, you know, like utility kind of, you know, yeah, an outlet to add on to that. Um, so you're talking about uh, flow hoods. I know, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your website and how people can, because I, I know that you not only do mushroom production, but you also offer a service where you will build people flow hoods, correct? Yeah, so we offer custom build uh, wood flow hoods on my website for $1,500, and it's uh, much cheaper than other um, prices on the market. Um, so, and that's uh, not including shipping, but you can look at it there on the lakesidemushrooms.xyz mm -hmm. and we ship all across the U.S. We already had four orders come in in one week. So, we're definitely selling a bunch of them and I'll be happy to message you and answer any questions you may have about it. Now, who, who builds that? That's your grandpa, right? Yes, yeah, that's my grandpa. He's um, been, He's been a carpenter almost all of his life. So, he's the best one for the job, much more skilled than me. So, we came up with a good design together and uh, made everything yeah uh, to my standards and to you know flow hood standards and uh yeah it's uh very well built well designed uh flow hood well um i certainly appreciate you showing me around here tyler and uh, i hope to learn a lot more from you going forward keep on growing all right this guy uh, right here he's a microgreens farmer in the same area as me <laughs> so yeah. if y'all want to give him a check out sam out micros he is a cool dude and he's growing microgreens. Yeah. All right. Awesome, man. Thanks.